Just as I did for chapter one, I'm going to cover some highlights in chapter two for the PowerPoints. Again, I would urge you to review all of the PowerPoints as well as read the chapter in the book and complete your quiz and discussion board for this chapter. As a review, the population is the group of individuals that you are interested in studying. This could be as large as the entire world, or it could be as small as a group within your classroom. In order to get a representative sample of the population, that is, a group of people who are similar to the population so that you may make inferences about the population, it's important to sample from the population correctly. The most effective way of doing this is a random sample, where each person in the population has an equal chance of being selected for the sample. Unfortunately, sometimes researchers use a convenient sample, which is to select people as they are convenient to you. Everybody who comes by your study session, for example, or everybody who enters a store. This is not a random sample and thus is less likely to be representative of the population as a whole. You can see this represented graphically here on slide 10 from the PowerPoint for Chapter 2. The gold standard in research is the experiment. In an experiment, individuals from the sample are randomly assigned to conditions or levels of the independent variable. By doing so, the researcher is able to make inferences about the effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable. External validity refers to the degree to which the results of the current study generalize to other contexts and other study populations. This is why it is very important to select your population of study carefully. Internal validity refers to the likelihood that only the independent variable that you manipulated could have produced the results in this experiment. Controlling internal validity means that you are relatively certain that the manipulations you made to the independent variable led to the changes in the dependent variable in your experiment. There is somewhat of a tension between internal and external validity. The more closely a situation resembles real life, that is, the more external validity you have, the more difficult it is to control the internal validity of the experiment. Let's move on to discuss tests and measures or assessment instruments. A test has a given reliability. Reliability is the degree to which the particular test gives the same scores for the same individuals each time it's used. Validity, on the other hand, refers to the degree to which the test measures what you say it measures. One may have complete reliability without any validity at all. For example, if I have a bathroom scale that I step on every morning and it tells me that I weigh 50 pounds, it's completely reliable. I get the same result each time. However, it is not at all valid as I do not weigh anywhere near 50 pounds. 